Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Sweet Transit and we are continuing more or less where we left off in the last episode. I just let a few years go and we are looking a little bit better. We're still struggling with the diesel over here, so uh, that is going to be the focus of this episode as well. Hopefully the main issue that we're having here is actually personnel. So right now of course it looks fine, but personnel is... As soon as they are changing shifts here, these guys are going to not fill up completely. I'll let it run here so you can see what I'm talking about. Here you see. We had a shift change and we lost 700 people, which dropped our production from 2k all the way down to like 1.3. And that just doesn't do it. That just doesn't do it for us. And yeah, the fact that we don't have enough fuel everywhere is just slowing down everything at this point. Uh, it is really bad, actually. So I've tried to separate the ones that are traveling slowly by this. But there is so many that's traveling slowly that it backs up on this route instead. So I'm not sure what I should do to kind of combat that. I'm not sure I can do so much. We are kind of keeping up with uh, the fuel now. It's just not really fast enough. We need a bit faster trains here. But yeah, we are actually at 2.2k now, and our protection is on 1200. So everyone that needs fuel actually do get it now. Which means that we should see an improvement in money as well coming in here shortly. But yeah, we're gonna have a massive setback from this. Like, the fact that this is just standing still, uh, it's not good. Not good. And I don't think I can do too much about it either, just because we don't have money. Otherwise, we could do like a bypass here and have the fuel trains like skip this section. But no. Not an option. I'm gonna keep for fast forwarding a little bit, see if we get a massive bass setback from this, or if we actually get something out of it at the end. We'll see. Oh, that's an issue. That's not what we want. Do not want to see that, thank you. Uh, please don't stand around in the middle of the intersection. Maybe that's why it was slowing down so much. We actually had them sit halfway through this intersection and that just stops everything done. So yeah, let's see if that improves anything. I've seen minuses up to like 130 grand at this point. So we're not doing great, but I've also seen plus up to like 52 grand. So if we are providing enough fuel, then we can actually make a decent amount of money. It's just that when we don't have fuel, then we are just screwed completely instead. I have a plan for how we're going to fix the Novgorod situation as well. These guys are only getting uh, bread and meat, and actually the best one to deliver for personnel is actually cheese. Gives us an extra 15 people in the house, which is exactly what we need. So once we get that, I think we should have enough personnel to supply for the diesel production continuously. So we're at a minus a hundred grand, but we're now having some really big diesel trains coming in here. Uh, so I th think once these deliver, we should see a turn towards the better as well. As the diesel starts getting delivered to all the places. This is just natural that we're going back to like 50, 60 grand. I'm hoping that we'll get some cash left over from this last delivery of fuel. We'll continue to deliver with the, stool, uh, the big trains as well. 
So we can actually cover a few more deliveries from the warehouse. So how it works is that all of these cities that we have around here, Nur Sultan and, and uh, Klepedia and Islamabad and all of those, they are actually picking up their fuel from the warehouse. So that's why I'm focusing on the warehouse and how much fuel we have available here. Because that kind of tells us how much fuel we have available in the cities. And the cities are the ones that actually need the fuel. So right now we're above 1200, which means that we should not have any trains standing around waiting for fuel. And the fact that we are at minus 18 grand means that we kind of are doing okay. So we're coming up on 3k diesel there. Uh, do we still have diesel left over here? We do not. Okay. So that is kind of the wave of diesel that we're gonna get. Now we can just hope that we will actually see a positive impact of that. And we kind of find ourselves here now. <laughs> Still hovering around 20 grand. So if we can get some plus, we will be able to plunk down that dairy farm. Uh, the dairy farm is quite expensive, so it's 75 grand and then 500 bricks and 400 stone. I would be willing to cannibalize something for it, but we need to at least have some parts of it. If I need to cannibalize, cannibalize a little bit of fuel, for example, for it, that would be, be kind of fine. But I can't cannibalize 75 grand, that's like half of my fuel production and we will never recover from that. <laughs> A bit confused. These guys are leaving from the warehouse without refueling sometimes. Even though there is fuel in the warehouse. I haven't been out of fuel in a while and somehow they still leave without fuel. It's kind of weird. Either way, we are actually positive now, so that's good. If we can keep that up, then we will actually be able to fix this soonish. I did add now that they need to wait until they actually do get fuel. See if that helps. Because yeah, this is really stopping up a lot. Having all of these guys going around here. Not great. Hmm. We don't actually need this, do we? Oh, if we get some... This is actually really good. We are making money now. If we get some bricks on this... Please give us some bricks. There we go. 500 bricks. Hell yeah, okay. Ah, uh, that does it. I'm gonna sell this guy. That's 58 grand. Uh, honestly, I can sell one more. It doesn't matter. And then we can go over here. And we can do this. Dairy. Oh shit, this place is not good for dairy. Uh, maybe go here instead then. Dairy. How far out do you reach? All the way here. Pull this back this way. Like that. We're then gonna get the dairy down here. We're gonna have a... Uh, storage. Very good. That will produce cheese for us just directly because these guys only need wheat and that will increase the amount of personnel we have here as well Ooh, we actually need this let's go up a little bit higher in there we go yeah so if we look now these guys should be starting to get... Consumption 95. I don't think you are producing 95, are you? 
Oh, you're producing milk. We also need... Um, cheese factory. <laughs> Maybe we can build that here. Why not, right? If we had a hundred grand, we could do that. Damn! I really, really need that uh, cheese production. And then we are there. Like, that's the end of this. Let's see if we can get... I think these guys can still go with that, no? It's unfortunate, so we have to use these. Um, okay. Minus 16 grand. We are doing better with the produce. Not good, but better. Uh, diesel still is the issue. We keep having a bunch of guys standing around here waiting for diesel. And these guys are constantly having too few people working. It just sucks. We have all the production that we need, we just... Miss the personnel to actually work it. Are these going here? I don't think we have any fuel here for those. No. So number two, number five needed. Uh, you. Number two, number five, not needed. You, number two, number five, not needed. Yeah, we're kind of wasting fuel going in here with these guys, and they're actually running out of fuel when they come into here, so. Maybe if we do that, that will help. Okay, we've had enough stop on the tracks now again, so we have actually built up like five grand of diesel in Novgorod. This is usually when we see an improvement, and this time we're actually starting for, from 50 grand instead of the like 100 grand that we've started with before. So maybe we can see a, a positive enough swing this time that we can place down a cheese factory. We have actually made a little bit of progress, so we do have the, the milk production now. So we just need the cheese to come along as well. And it does look like we are fairly quickly going closer to positive numbers. Down to minus 12 grand now. We do have a good train coming in here, but we are quite far below the limit that we have set. So this will more or less just replenish to make sure that everyone can actually leave when they get here. Damn, the fact that these guys are running out of fuel, that really sucks. How is it that you guys are running out of fuel constantly? Is this generally... that's how it is? Uh, can we do this then, maybe? What if I delete that guy? Take the guy over here. And we do the exact same thing here. Plunk him down here. Beat that. And anyone above 55 is allowed to go there, otherwise they have to go on the inside left side. Okay, halfway good movement now that we have separated the out of fuel trains from the fueled ones. That should really help. Okay, so I feel like we have kind of solved this whole issue with fuel, but the game itself just hates that idea and decided that I'm going to stop up everything for you then. If you're telling me that you are keeping fuel at the warehouse at all times, I'm going to make sure that no fucking train in the whole world can make it there. Thanks game. I appreciate it. Which is so annoying. Can we do that and try to speed this up a little bit? Uh, you guys are not separating anything, so that's fine. Yeah, I really don't know what to do to to get money here. 
I think all we need to do is to make sure that these guys are actually starting to produce cheese. And then we should get all of this kind of fixed. But yeah, we never get to that point really. Eight hundred bricks, a hundred stone, and a hundred grand in cash. That is all we need to be able to continue here. And they're kind of teasing us with like minus twenty grand, minus fifteen grand every now and then, but it never really gets to plus. Last time we had any positive income, we did this guy. And since then, we're just not getting any. And I don't think it's because of these three grand that we have here. What if I pause you? We'll get a little bit more income at least. Maybe that helps. I honestly don't know. Looks like we are going somewhat positive at least. And it turns around. Just dips down below minus 10k and then we're going back up to like 40-50 grand minus. So annoying. And it does it over and over again. It's like it's teasing me. It's like, yeah, I know that you need just that little bit of money. But no, the game just hates providing. How much money do you use? That's like 500. That doesn't do anything. No. Oh, it's 10 grand, I guess. Okay, we could actually use that to get to positive. Once we go down to like 10 grand again, I can turn that off and then... Um, yeah, that's an option. Turn this guy off. That will give us a lot of money really quickly. Wait for bricks. Coming in here. And then sell off one of you guys as well. If I sell you. That's not a hundred grand. It is close though. Uh, we need another 40 grand. Are we losing cash or are we gaining? I think we are about to start losing. Uh, do we have one of the bad these guys? Where do you go, Islamabad? Are all of our Islamabad trains those bad ones? I think so, right? Then we can sell one of those and try to upgrade it to diesel eventually. Yeah, I think that should work. That's bricks. Potatoes. Yeah, I think all of the Islamabad clothing trains are the bad ones. So yeah, we're gonna delete that guy. This guy we're gonna sell. And then we need another four grand. Um, there we have a hundred. Still don't think this is enough because we're gonna need more stuff than just the initial building. But it's at least a start. So if we can, can start up this way, I guess that's good. And we have another backup. Lack of fuel for these trains are just making this network look like an amateur's work. Which it probably is at the end of the day, but like... Can you at least make it look like I'm halfway decent at this game? Game, please. Please and maybe. Did I try to get one of these? If I get this guy up well higher, he's gonna pay more taxes. Because yeah, they pay more taxes if it's more beautiful in the city. And the I think if I just spam a bunch of these.
we should be able to do that. I think it's 25, that's when we are getting the extra attractiveness bonus. Most attractive attractiveness. Happiness 25%. Doesn't say anything. If attractiveness becomes negative, attractiveness repeats. I'm gonna get it up to 25 and see what's happening there. There we go. Now we're making money somehow. Don't ask me how. <laughs> I'm just as confused as you are. We just got it to 30. Is that some 300? No, that also doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'm actually not sure what we need to do to actually reach that. Uh, we are needing some more stuff though. So we're actually making money now. Substantial amount of money. There we have that. And we're gonna need you to build this. Uh, we just need stone. I'm gonna destroy one of these. I'll give us the stone that we need. Then we build you. Turn you on. And then we can turn this guy on as well. And then we watch this and see what's happening. Where's milk storage? You're so picky. Come on, give me some... Give me some stuff. So I think now that we have this built up, then we should be starting to produce... This stuff. Yes, consumption 95. We are producing... 20. 30 now. We produce more, the more of these we place down. Uh, dairy products. Yes, production multiplies if a certain number of structures are adjacent. So we do want to try to focus on getting more and more out of this. I guess if I get enough, I can delete this. This is a lot of money that we have saved. So if we get a bunch of clay and stuff. What is it that we need? We need uh, 100 clay, 200 clay and 100 stone. So let's see when we get the next bricks delivery and then we can take all of the bricks and stone to build stuff with. It's gonna be a while. We have one bricks here and we have uh, one bricks here. Actually it comes in here. Okay, that's good. And we're getting stone at the same time as well. Good stuff. Yeah, we're making money. Uh, we are not really keeping up with stone and bricks just yet. We should, soon. Especially bricks is really important. If we can get bricks working again, this is going to be big. We are making money again, look at this. I don't know how that happened, but somehow we are making a shit ton of cash. I don't know if it's because, you know, this guy shouldn't have that big an impact, but we can start that again so these guys can get the steel that they need. That's fine. Okay, so I think we do have enough money that we are able to get a train to start pushing the cheese up to Novgorod as well. So we can actually build another train, we can put it on there. And I just copied the bread, bread delivery one. So we're gonna change it over to cheese. And I think this might be the turning point at this point. If we can just 
build up a little bit more of the bricks production here. This is going to be fantastic. Absolutely great. I don't know where that growth spur come fr came from. We got a lot of money all of a sudden. We had like hundreds of grand all of a sudden. But I'm not complaining. Damn, we were actually... Really lucky with that. So, uh, can we get some stone, please? Come on now. Nah, it's too late. Yeah, so these guys are doing 234. Which minute now? I think the issue is that we don't have enough... Yeah, we're actually out of milk. So these guys are not producing enough. Producing 67 milk each minute. Are we running out of this as well? No. No, we are not. It's just that we are out of stone and bricks a lot. Gotcha. Actually making money again, so that's good. We did make a little bit of cheese, but that was just because this guy was actually building up she uh, uh, building up uh, milk. That is not happening anymore, so we're not making any extra any longer. I just uh, fuel here. Look, kind of keeping enough now that we can hold these guys with enough fuel all the time. Which is nice. I'm in closer on positive numbers for income as well. So maybe we can build another one now then. Like we are making money. So if we can maintain the production as well. Then we can put down another one of the milk product producers. Which is actually what we need. Because we're producing 90 milk on a good day, and this guy is using 144 now, but I think it's closer to 300 when we are producing constantly. Which is not enough. We actually need more than that. Okay, so we have fuel now. I decided that we can sacrifice a little bit more out of this. We're actually still doing okay with happiness. Somehow these guys are just not dissatisfied at all. I guess the, the limit then is 20. Because now we dropped a little bit in attractiveness. We had plus 150 before. So I guess 20 is where you want to aim for. For a 20% boost. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna uh, add one of these. How the fuck do we not have any wood? Are you kidding me, game? Oh my god. This is such pain. We have this guy coming in here, but he's out of fuel, so it's gonna take forever for him to get in here. Um, I'm going to build up these as many as we can. Let's see once we get the... Yeah, we're gonna lose all of it. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the next time when we have all of the stuff except for the money. Then I'll just sacrifice that section again. There we go. Now we can go here. We can take these guys. And we'll sell these until we have the exact amount that we need. There. Take this guy, make a copy of him there, and then we are going to expand this as much as we can. So you guys are not really paying anything extra, right? Yeah, so we could have them literally pay 25% more just by placing down a bunch of these. Honestly, I think I'm gonna do, like why not? There we have it. Happiness, they are now producing more stuff. 
Uh, if I want you guys to remain super happy, what do I need to do then? More attractiveness. Place down these until they feel happy enough. There is 20. That should get you guys to pay more. Yep. Good. That gives us more money. So I think we should do that in all cities. We should get get up to 20 in all of them. Just so they get get to pay us a little bit more. I want to make sure that Philadelphia is the most attractive one. Um, I guess I can just place down a little bit more. There we go. That gets us some extras. Look at all the money we're making now. Just from placing down a few extra parks. <laughs> making a hundred grand every minute. So money isn't an issue anymore. And uh, now we just need to make sure that we can get this up and running. So if we can get some stone and some other stuff, that would be really helpful. How is our production here looking? Are we producing enough? Yes, we're actually having backup backlogs now. So you guys can we can only build one, seriously? Get me a clone, come on. Silly. Okay. One more is at least and then um, one more. Oop. <laughs> nope. Well, money has been solved. Money is no longer an issue. We literally tripled our income by doing that. So, uh, build parks even if you don't need them. It actually does a lot for you. We are actually positive in production of... Cheese now. Cheese is coming here, I'm guessing. Yes. And that will mean that these guys are not going to be out of personnel anymore. We're going to get a shit ton more personnel. Imagine that. That is really nice. Uh, we can get even more, more workers here as well. So if we get you guys to go something like that. A few more. That's 20. One more. Yes. Good. They're complaining about not having work, but that's fine. It's just because there was just a shift change here. Once that happens again, we should be good. That is so nice, though. Finally, we have enough personnel to actually produce... Produce all of the uh, fuel that we need. So, if I place one of you here eventually... That's gonna help, but everything is stopped up over here at the moment. Look at this, even when we are dropping in, in income, we're still on positive. Yeah, I can't stress this enough. I've uh, realized this twice playing this game now, that there is literally so much to gain. From just placing down a bunch of parks randomly, like in the outskirts of your town. Because like all of these parks that I have here, there's no way I'm nesting that into here in an efficient way. It's just way more efficient to build it outside like this. And it increases your income by 25%. See that? Happiness, 25%. And that's because we have attractive enough of 50 so with all services provided and attractiveness at 20 or higher, we're getting those 25% extra. Which is insane. Uh, are we able to keep up with cheese? No, we actually do need more production. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. This is still an issue. That's a lot because of these guys are just not getting what they need. Why is that? What is it that we are we are missing here? Yeah, I think even the production of wood kind of solved itself. They are still running out of fuel, unfortunately. 
maybe we can survive still. Uh, we do need to upgrade these. What if I try to upgrade all of you at once? Actually possible, okay. Um, insane 11 trains in one go. And we just cracked 2 million cash as well. Things are going really well all of a sudden. Uh, we're still struggling a little bit with the fuel. So we have a lot of fuel trains standing around, which means that it's slowing down quite a bit. Uh, but I think we're keeping up with the production itself. Sort of. Yeah, I think the biggest issue right now is that we're not producing the right things when we need it. Does it look here? We released a bunch of trains to go here with clothing. Looks like they are on their way in now. Yeah. Where are you standing to get fuel? There only. Okay, do we have fuel there? Yes. So technically they should be able to get fuel from here. Yeah, this is good. We're actually doing okay. We are actually doing okay. I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and see if we can get this stabilized a little bit. Just out of curiosity before we wrap this episode up, I think it would be interesting to see the, the outcome of the actually quite small change. We added some additional cheese, but more importantly we built a bunch of, of these... Uh, parks in every city giving us 25 percent more in taxes and a bunch more income so yeah i'm gonna let this run for a little bit and let's see if it kind of stabilizes from here or if we have other issues there we go i think we now have a way for these guys to pass over this without having to go through this intersection uh, it looks like we are still having some issues with fuel, and the majority of that is because we're backing up so much here. So if we can get these guys to go to the right instead of shimming into here. That would be really nice. I think that's pretty good. It looks like that's all the wood issue. When we don't have a bunch of standing around here. So, uh, I think we're gonna call success on that, actually. Uh, we're still not really building up fuel like I would like to, but I think we should be able to do it now that the trains will be able to travel a little bit more freely. We have a lot of fuel here, so... That aspect, we should be able to do it. Kind of running out of fuel here, unfortunately, but that's just because we had uh, so much standing still here. So yeah. Is there an issue with this? No, they are able to go here. Just kind of looked like they weren't able to. Okay. That's fine. Happy to see it. And happy to have you here in this episode. So I guess we will continue in the next one. Probably looking into our beginning of the bricks work that we had building here. Uh, we're gonna need to do a lot about that. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we need to do anything about the stone. It does look like we're having issue with the stone. But I actually think we are producing enough. The only thing that we might want to do is add one more train on, potentially. But I think that's also an issue with... Like, these guys are get stopped up right here. So... Uh, anything? Maybe we should make a four-way intersection here and just drag them over here instead. I don't know. Bricks is the first and foremost issue that we're going to work on. Maybe we'll take a look at a few of these issues as well. Not enough work. That'll be fixed with Bricks, so... Should be all good. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.